The European Union wants current and potential recipients of its nearly 100 billion shillings yield fund that seeks to address capital constraints for SMEs in agribusiness to de-risk further. This means that next week, on the 27th of June, we'll be able to celebrate the final close of that fund at 20 million euros. The fact that investors are ready to invest in agribusiness SMEs in Uganda is extremely significant. We all know that each year hundreds of thousands of young job seekers enter the market and there's a need to create hundreds of thousands of jobs in Uganda each year. Blended financing by of grants, concessional loans, impact funds, private equity finances and PPPs are increasingly being seen as new models of financial interventions for enterprises and government projects. But in Kenya, our banking sector has more liquidity than is stipulated by central bank. We have doubled the liquidity rate in the country, which means there are a lot of funds which are available in the banking sector, but without proper de-risking of projects, then the banks are not able to give out that money in the uh, private sector. UDB is participating in the START program. This is a typical blending operation with UNCDF and private sector, again with the support um, of the EU. And the future for this program is really, um, we see is very bright in terms of uh, attracting private capital into the sector. What the government is doing, we are taking on the responsibility of availing partial risk guarantee. We're taking on the responsibility of availing partial credit guarantee or, or, on, on the local currency bond. These assessments have been highlighted at a regional high-level blended financing conference here in Kampala. Strengthening the financial sector, <coughs> stimulating local production, especially at the local government level, boosting industrialization, and widening the tax base. The tax base. They're helping to develop and structure a pipeline of 16 public and private projects worth in the range of $80 million. And yet, despite its exciting potential, blended finance is not the most appropriate solution. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.